This is Rasa Wood Fire Power. And a little peek of the mosquito fish. There are quite a lot of them in the system. Hopefully see them darting about in all of the tables. Easier to see the little rings they make on the surface of the water than to see them. Anyway, this is an update on things going on. As you can see, I've ripped out almost all of the plants from the tables. Just working on knocking down the aphids and getting the whole system cleaned up and starting over again. So every now and then I just tear things out, clean, wash, and then start over. One of the reasons for doing it now is that I have installed and put into operation a swamp cooler <clears throat> and that has made it to where I have cool air coming into the greenhouse and can close it up. Second thing is that while I love having all of these delicious tomatoes, I've decided that in spite of the fact that I've made it work, it's just not a good idea to have tomatoes inside the same greenhouse with the lettuce. So I won't be repeating this next year, but um, as you can see, there are still lots of tomatoes on here. So I don't really want to tear these out at this point in time. It's late August. So I'll keep these growing for a while and then remove them and next year create a different greenhouse for them. And it'll be a little more appropriate. Over here are the babies that are being loaded into the table. And there are a bunch of different varieties from Hyper Red Rumple Wave to Glossy Bronze Cause to um, Deer Tongue, an Amish favorite, I think. At least it's called Amish Deer Tongue a lot of times. Lola Divina, Zeno's Density, and so on and so forth. This one's really pretty, um, called Double Density. And some of these have aphids on them, like right there. So what I use is a safer soap. And um, this is going to be a little tricky, but safe soap is basically dishwashing soap, but different. It doesn't make as many suds. And it's safe to use up to the day of harvest. So um, I'll try to do this and film it. I just, the roots are formed, so this guy's ready to go into the rafts. And there are some aphids. I just put my finger down here to hold the plant from falling out and I turn it upside down and dip it down into the soapy solution and that covers the entire plant and then I put the plant into a raft so I haven't washed this raft out but basically it would just go into that raft and so for each of the plants, before I launch them into the tables, I give them a dunking in the soap solution, and that sets the time clock for aphid multiplication backwards. And then if I need to, I got a tip from a friend about using an airless paint sprayer 
to apply the safe soap um, aphid spray <clears throat> and the reason is because it atomizes a lot lot better and so there it is it's a Graco Magnum X5 and it has a um, tip and I bought a, a smaller tip I only found the 0111 11 thousandths instead of 15 that comes with it and I'd like to get an, a 9 thousandths basically the smaller the tip the better because you're just spraying water with a little soap in it and the sprayer puts it out in a real fine spray and that coats the plant much better the other way I was doing it was using um, a little hand pump sprayer and these guys work but they um, they don't turn the spray into a mist and so you get larger droplets and what that means is that you use probably five times as much of the spray to coat to get the plant to coat so using the airless sprayer you use less which saves money on your sprays even though it's just safe soap it still costs some money and it also reduces the amount that you put onto the plants now it's safe up to the day of harvest which basically means that you could eat it I guess but it doesn't taste good so I don't want to have it on my mature plants so by spraying it onto the plants when they're young then I can keep the aphids from showing up on the plants and knock them down and keep them knocked down so that when the plants go to market they are nice and aphid free and that helps them sell and be enjoyed better anyway that's What's up in the greenhouse? This is Ross of Wood Fire Power. Have a great week.